friends. I know we're all stuck at home right now so that we can do our best to stop people from getting sick. But just because we're at home doesn't mean we still can't pray and celebrate all of the wonderful blessings that we have thanks to Jesus. So instead of joining in the parish hall during Mass to talk about God's story, we're going to come together using this video. And we're going to be able to imagine all of the friends who we usually sit next to on our blanket. Imagine that they are just like you, sitting in front of their video screen or their phone or whatever they're using. And together, we're going to do the things that we usually do during children's liturgy. The same things that we usually do during our children's liturgy time together. But some of the things we're going to do are going to be a little bit different because we're doing it by video. We can do that. So here is what's going to happen. First, like I always do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story that we're going to hear. And I'm going to give you something to listen for when you're hearing the story. And then instead of me telling you the story, I'm going to show you a video um, of a cartoon of this story. So you're going to get to to hear the story in a different way, which will be fun and exciting. But we're still praying, remember, when we're watching it. And at the end, um, we're going to talk a little bit about what we heard. And then we're going to pray the part of the Mass called the Prayers of the Faithful, where we pray for each other and for all of the people around the world. And we do that because we are all part of the family of God, and that's one of the ways that we take care of one another. All right, are you ready to start? I'm excited to hear the story God has for us today. It's a really good one. And I'm excited to pray together with all of you. In today's story, we are going to hear about how Jesus healed a blind man. So somebody who could not see, he was born blind. He never could see his whole entire life and Jesus heals him. Hey, wait, what happened? Can, can you see me? How about now? Can you see me now? How about now? I was just in the closet. I was just playing with you. But when I was in the closet and it was totally dark, it was kind of hard to see me, wasn't it? Then I added a little light. I cracked open the closet door and you could kind of see me. But when I came out of that closet and I came into this nice bright room, you could see me clearly, right? You can see me pretty well now. Well, in today's gospel, we're going to hear about how a man went from not seeing at all to seeing clearly. We're going to also hear about two gifts that Jesus gives to the blind man. So listen carefully. I want you to try to figure out what those two gifts are. Are you ready? Let's start in prayer. Let's take a minute and remember that we are all in God's presence, even though we are not together and we're grateful that he's letting us pray together in this way today. I'm going to begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone! One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples, and he saw a man who was born blind. His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, Go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! 
The man's neighbors and others who knew him as a blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's right. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Oh, that's what happened. The people asked, where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. Oh my God. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, mm, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hey there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped Jesus. And that was the Gospel of the Lord. And we respond, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So friends, how does Jesus heal the blind man? He gives him sight, right? How do you think the man felt when Jesus healed him? Imagine if you could never see and then all of a sudden you could and you see the colors and the textures and the faces of the people that you love. You'd be pretty happy, right? And excited and so grateful and thankful to Jesus for having given you that gift. So he gave the man the gift of sight. He opened his eyes so that he could see, but he also gave him a much greater gift than that. A lot of people in Jesus's time did not know that Jesus was God's son. Jesus opened the blind man's heart so that the blind man could know that Jesus was God's son, so that the blind man could see Jesus as God's son. I think that a nice way to think of that is that the blind man was able to see with his heart. And so those are the two gifts that I asked you to listen for, right? Jesus gave the blind man the gift of sight using his eyes and also the gift of sight using his heart to be able to see Jesus. My friends, we can see with our eyes, can't we? We are all blessed and we can, but guess what? We can also see with our hearts, just like the blind man learned to see with his heart. When we see something with our hearts, we see Jesus, just like the blind man did. We see Jesus working through other people to take care of us. So let's think about that. Me, I see Jesus with my heart, taking care of me, when my daughter offers to do the dishes so I can have the break at the end of a long day. I can see Jesus taking care of me when my dad calls to make sure that I have enough gas in my car. How about you? Maybe you can see with your heart. Maybe you can see Jesus taking care of you when your teacher tries to make having class at home fun because she knows that you miss seeing your friends every day. Or Maybe you can see Jesus with your heart. Maybe you can see him taking care of you when your mom makes a special dessert to cheer you up because it's rainy and you can't play outside. This week, I want you to be on the lookout for ways that Jesus is taking care of you. Use your heart to see Jesus in your home and in your family, okay? So before we end, it's time for us to pray for people all around the world. And our response is going to be, Lord, hear our prayer. Can you say that? 
Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, bishops, and all of our priests, they are praying for all of God's children during this time of sickness. Help us remember to pray for them too. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and all of the leaders in our communities and around the world, that they will make good decisions that help us all to get back to our regular ways of life as soon as we can. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Everyone who is sick and for the people who love them, help them to see how Jesus is taking care of them. Help them to see with their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people who have to go to work at this time, for doctors and nurses and grocery store workers and truck drivers, help them and the others who have to work to stay safe as they do their best to bring Jesus' love to us all and they make sure that we have everything that we need to get by every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our teachers at school, that they find creative and fun ways to make learning easier at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, that we may be patient with one another as we are stuck together at home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any other prayers that we have in our hearts, let's think of them right now. For anyone else or anything else you want to pray for, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Why don't we end by saying a prayer together? Let's say Hail the Hail Mary, because Mary is uh, everybody's mother, right? And she is looking out for us, especially during this time. So this is a really great prayer that we can pray to thank her for that and help her know that we are grateful to her and that we love her so much. So, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My friends, I am so glad that we got to pray together today. I miss you all and can't wait until we can get back to normal. Until then, keep using your heart to see Jesus at work in your lives and be good to one another. Have a great day.